walking down the road. I got my blue jeans on. I'm on the boogie shooting. We have another Pontiac Trans Am sitting here. It's a 1978 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This one's got a 454 under the hood. No power steering, but it does have power brakes. Of course, we'll be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available on this one at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Let me know what you think. Test drive should go well. It's a pretty car. It does have some flaws, though. All right. Another thing, guys, we're changing the way we're doing our shirts up here. Uh, the wife has been doing them for a while now, and of course, she's getting ready to have a baby here in the next couple months, so we're going to change that. Limited run, whatever we have now, is going to sell out. After that, you'll have to wait a few months before you can pick up any more shirts, and they'll all be different when I do the next run. So, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, let's check out the interior. Nice steering wheel on this one. Forever sharp. <laughs> I feel like that's like sharp, sharper image ad or something. I tried to wrap this. It's just sticky underneath. Almost got it right. That probably needs to be redone. There's a switch there for something. Face to the radios in the office. Dang it. There was a guy that asked me to get the face to the radio in one of the cars. I think it was the silver or the white Trans Am. You can see them back there. Look, we got a bunch of Trans Ams right now. I think it's actually the most we've had at one time. Look at that custom headliner. Pet the furry wall. <laughs> you got a uh, Bluetooth, hands free. Let's start it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big lot. <laughs> Cross the dash. Bad. A little shaky. There we go. See everything? A little vibration there. Blower motor does work. Wipers do work. Oh, got to play that game. Let's see. They was all the way down. Cracking a windshield over here in a big white spot. Ashtray. Okay, they got that one clean. Glove box. Okay. That's looking good. Turn signals. Yeah, it's blinking up there. What about this side? No. It's not. You've got 62,440 miles on the dash. The original clock is not working. It's at. Sure looks like it is. Tilt. We got some tape back here though. I wonder what they taped it up for. Put her in gear. Much better. Yeah, in in park there. It's got a shake to it. I don't know if you can see it on video or not. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and hit the road and see how she runs and drives. But first. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? I'm gonna say it don't, just because it's an aftermarket steering wheel. Nope. Next, do you think the gas gauge works? Oh, we know it don't. Look at it, all the way over there. We will stop. Get a little bit of fuel. Okay, guys, here we go. We're getting ready to take off. We'll take her down the road. Point out flaws, chips, scratches after. When we get back, no power steering on this. I keep forgetting. Definitely gonna stop and get some gas, cause <laughs> I'm not running out today. Here we go. Waiting on some of traffic. You guys don't get too set, upset about the t-shirts. I'll have a different website making them. It'll be a different run, but we just don't have the energy to keep up with it right now. Here we go.
in here, get a little bit of gas. I'll put about $20 worth of premium fuel in here so we don't run out. But right now, the gauge is broke. It's way past full. It's not correct. All right. So let's get a little fuel, and I'll see y'all in a moment. Well, we got some gas. We're not going to run out today. I always run $20 with a 93, which is about five gallons. And on this one, right behind the tag, there she is. You really got to give the door a good shut or it won't shut all the way. I'll tell you what, I like this hat a lot more than that other one I wear. <laughs> Let's start her up. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, you got to shut it like that and it will shut. Let's see.
here we go so far so good our temperature gauge is not working though I've been wanting to know I mean the motor's cool I had the hood popped I was checking everything out it's got a nice aluminum radiator but our gauge is not hooked up we do have an oil pressure gauge it looks like it's working and we're sitting at 40 so that's great we are charging that's also good speedo is not working uh, this one obviously needs a paint job I found out when I walked around the whole entire ride and just kind of checked everything out well that's gonna be at the end of the video so stick around for that you can also find important information in the description. I'll always load that thing up. Here we go. Now our package tray is making a bunch of rattling noises. So is something up here. What is it? what it is something's vibrating over there it's just the interior <laughs> she's definitely got some pep motor feels pretty good Little bump in the road up here. I'll point it out, give her a lesson. Smooth. Suspension's nice and smooth on this one. Same with the brakes. Steering wheel's not centered up. Okay. We're getting ready to pull back into the lot, guys. Be sure to check out maplemotors.com. I got more videos coming your way. And I'll see you later, guys. Okay, we're gonna walk around this ride and uh, pick out chip scratches and flaws. Again, check out maplemotors.com. Go ahead and pick up your merchandise on that website as well while limited supply lasts. And uh, later in the year, we'll put another run out for you to pick up some shirts. We're gonna go ahead and get started here in the front. You can get financing and shipping on that website as well. Be sure to get a quote. And uh, contact us at 615-822-4444 if you're interested. Now, this paint has got chips and scratches everywhere, so be a little patient with me here. I'm going to show you all of it, but I'm also not going to point at all the little chips and scratches. They're everywhere. <clears throat> See here, that's been painted up front. Bunch of chips up top. Coming down this side. Spot at the bottom, a little hazy on the side chips. Tires on this one are in good shape. The wheels look awesome. Scuff there on the side, that should come out. Chips on the edge of the door. chip there up in the corner here a lot of little bubbles on the paint on the side here you see all that trash scratch there chips on the edge of the door and the door the hinges are sagging
Get more of them little bubbles in the back. Go all the way to the back here. Spot there. <coughs> Spots back here. So in that corner. A little rust. Of course, we all knew paint was weak on this car. The price reflects that. Bubbles there. Right little bubbles in the paint in the back here. Chips. Back windshield's not bad, a little scuff in the middle. Scratch right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seals look good around the window. You got a dent up top here. Windshield cracked in the corner. Light scratches from the wipers. Chips. A little bit of overspray. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Up on the back. Put some chips back here too. Weather stripping just needs to be replaced, but somebody put a whole bunch of silicone on top of it. I guess because it started crumbling. Also, it looks like right here, a little rust got a hold of that lip. You can see where it ends and starts back. It's about a six, seven inch gap right there. We'll see, that's why they also put silicone on it. Looking down in our trunk, a little bit of bubbling popping up here. So our water will collect. And around. This has been primered. I assume it's been fixed. Or something was going on. Maybe the paint was chipping and then they got rid of it. And down with it that little lock in the back here when I put the key in it it took me a second to get it open I had to jiggle it that might be something that needs to be replaced too it did open obviously I got it open but it took me a second just here pointing it out to you guys I want you to know all this stuff well it's like overspray in there in this edge too the bubbles here bubbles on the top here as well of course we're making our way there let's come down this side Spots at the bottom there. Wheels look pretty good. Little bubbles. A lot of chemical too. That's where they didn't clean the paint very well when they painted it. Left trash in the paint. Dirt. I'm just gonna use my shadow to show you. 
so it ain't all mixed up. Chips on the edge of the door, under the door handle. This one needs a paint job, guys. You can see that. Chipped at the bottom. Chips. Around that fender well, too. A little dirt at the bottom there. Chips on this side. Scuffs and scratches. A little hazy here. wax left over there. I guess where they were waxing it. Chips. Showed them little bubbles. Around your back window, the trim looks pretty good. mark on the back window and bubble here little bubbles on the side hazy little chips light little specks on the windshield there scratch here scratch there Well, you know, paint is weak on this one. Let's check out the interior. Door panel in good shape. Oh, got a patched up spot here under the handle. Right there in the corner, on the edge there. Carpet's a little bit older. I actually got some dirt in here throughout my test strap. Package tray, not bad. Now your headliner in this one, I actually like it. That's the furry wall right there. <laughs> Visor over here. He's 
those valve covers. We got upgraded fully. down with the hood, give her a little shake. You don't want to bend it. And it's got, it's a little off here in the front. That needs to be lowered down. Bubble on the fender spot there. Chip in the corner. This is the louver. Spot up top. Like scuff. Chips on the edge here. A little flake of paint. Guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I try to pick out the flaws. I know this one needs a paint job, but it seems to run and drive pretty good. Detailed pictures of it at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. Check out financing at maplemotors.com. And you can get that shipping quote, you know, directly to your door. You can also call us 615-822-4444. And don't forget, we're going to sell the last bit of merch that we have right now and take a little bit of break from the merch stuff until the new member of the family's here. Later in the year, we'll have some more stuff coming your way. But right now, check it out before it's gone. Thanks for watching.